Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question and the question says that Given below are the entries in a savings bank account passbook. Calculate the interest for 6 months, February to July at 3% per annum on the minimum balance on or after the 10th day of each month. B slash F stands for brought forward from previous page of the passbook. We know that simple interest is equal to P into R into T upon 100 where P is equal to the principal R is equal to the rate of interest and T is equal to time. With this key idea, let us proceed with the solution. First, we shall complete the given table. On 8th February, the balance amount is $8,500 On 18th February an amount of $4,000 is withdrawn So the balance amount is $8,500 minus $4,000 which is equal to $4,500. So, the next entry in the passbook is $4,500 on 18th February. Now, on 12th April an amount of $2,238 is deposited. So, the balance will be $4,500 plus $2,238 which is equal to $6,738 So, the balance amount on April 12th becomes $6,738 On 15th June the amount withdrawn is $5,000 so now the balance amount becomes $6,738 minus $5,000 which is equal to $1,738. So our next entry in the passbook is $1,738 on June 15th. Now, on July 8th, the amount deposited is equal to $6,000. So, the balance amount is $6,000 plus $1,738 which is equal to $7,738. So, the next entry in the passbook is $7,738 on July 8th. This completes our table. So, now we shall calculate the principal for one month and then the interest for six months. The balance amount on February 18th is $4,500. So, 
the qualifying amount for the month of February will be forty-five hundred dollars. The next entry in the passbook is on April twelfth, and the balance amount on April twelfth is six thousand seven hundred and thirty-eight. So, for the month of March and April, the balance amount remains forty-five hundred dollars. So, the qualifying amount for the months of March and April is forty-five hundred dollars. The balance amount for the month of May is six thousand seven hundred and thirty-eight dollars. So, the qualifying amount for month of May is six thousand seven hundred and thirty-eight. dollars the balance amount on june 15th is 1738 dollars so the qualifying amount for the month of june is 1738 dollars and on july 8th the balance amount is 7738 so the qualifying amount for the month of july is Seven thousand seven hundred and thirty-eight dollars. So now the total principal for one month will be twenty-nine thousand seven hundred and fourteen dollars. The principal for one month is equal to twenty-nine thousand seven hundred and fourteen dollars. time is equal to 1 month which is equal to 1 by 12 years and the rate of interest given is equal to 3% per annum therefore as we know interest is equal to p into r into t upon 100 therefore this is equal to 29714 into 3 into 1 upon 100 into 12 so now this is equal to 3 for the 12 Two to the four, two times fourteen thousand eight hundred and fifty-seven is equal to twenty-nine thousand seven hundred and fourteen. So this is equal to fourteen thousand eight hundred and fifty-seven upon two hundred. This is equal to seventy-four point two nine dollars. Hence. the interest for required period of time is equal to 74.29 dollars which is our answer this completes our session hope you enjoyed the session